Hello and welcome to Solace Vision where we are playing Super Mario Star Road. Now before we continue, let's just remind ourselves of where we are. We've got all except one star in Bobham Islands, all except two in Skyland Resort and four left to get in Piranha Plant Pond. So let's continue going. Let's go back into Piranha Plant Pond and see what we can do. Eight red coins of the pond and yeah, we're going to do that and we're also going to get um, 100 coins as well. So um, one thing I do want to say is that this episode was intended to be a, um, to be uploaded yesterday, and I did record it yesterday. But it was only after I'd finished recording it that I realised that something was amiss. So what was so wrong with my recording? I was using the item tracker from my Zelda Randomizer Let's Play in the background instead of the Super Mario artwork that you see right now. I was using the wrong background image. It wasn't until I'd finished recording it and I was in the pro in the process of editing it that I noticed that something was wrong and it was the art was wrong. Instead of the item tracker, I sorry, instead of the Mario artwork, I had the item tracker, and I couldn't. There wasn't any way to get rid of it and like change it like during editing because I'm using a very cheap editing software right here. I'm not. I've yet to invest in anything a bit more expensive. I will at some point get better editing software, and so the, my. The quality of my let's plays will improve, hopefully. But um, there wasn't any way to change it without recording it again. So I'm recording it again today, and it should be uploaded today, like April 18th at the time of um, recording this. Um, and there you go. So because of that, because I've already recorded this before, I pretty much know exactly everything that's going to happen. So there aren't going to be any like surprises or like me working out what to do because I pretty much know everything like what to do right now. In this episode, I will go in into Chucky Harbor, and I can confirm Chucky Harbor does contain the uh, Metal Cap level. And I actually spent quite a lot long. I spent quite a long time like walking around that level looking for it because I couldn't remember where it was. Um, so. Thankfully you won't have to worry about me looking around not knowing what to do because I do know where the metal cap level is. It's quite well hidden in the inside Chucky Harbour. But um, this time I'm not going to be like walking around not knowing what to do. So th that's an upside at least, you know, because people watch let's people don't watch let's plays to just see people just walk around aimlessly. Unless seeing people walk around aimlessly is your kind of thing, but uh, it's not mine anyway. You know, you've got to have a, some action in your let's plays. Um, okay, so let's just collect the red coin under here. I know I haven't been talking much about my actual gameplay right now. How many coins? 84 coins, and uh, okay, I need to get more red coins. I think there's definitely at least one red coin inside this cave. Um, I think it's down here somewhere. Is it in here? I don't know. I can't see. I can't see very well. It's got to, it's got to be somewhere in this cave. I thought it was in some kind of hole or something. There's the piranha plant. Sleeping in its natural habitat. <laughs> oh man, it's so cruel to do that. But then again, piranha plants are your enemies, so yeah, you have to exterminate them. Where's the red? Oh, there's the red coin. I don't think there are any more red coins in here. In fact, I know there aren't any more red coins in here because, as I said, I've already recorded this, so I already know everything that's happening in this um, episode. Um. And despite the fact I've already recorded this, I am already starting to forget where some of these red coins are. It's not like the original Super Mario 64, where I rem just remember everything off by heart, where everything is, all the red coins and everything. This is, um, because I haven't played this much, I still forget, like, almost everything. But, um, oh yeah, there's another one on that tree as well. I can see up there. It shouldn't be a big, too big of a problem, though, because, um, I can just, uh, you know, I have the ability to retrace my steps. To call upon recent memories and um, you know try and elucidate where things are based on past memory. Come get up there, Mario. Get up there. Maybe I've got triple jump. I swear I didn't have this much trouble when I did this the first time. No. Ah. Oh. This is yeah. This is a bit of a tricky one to get. We have to jump on this branch. It's it's, it's like slanted, so you have to like carefully jump and slide off. Now backflip. There we go. Okay. Now where's the last red? Okay, I can see the last red coin. It's at the very, at the complete opposite side of the level. There should be a pipe to like to take me to the other side. I remember seeing like a warp pipe somewhere. There's a pipe. Jump in there, and it should be just by the ruins. And before we collect it, let's just collect two more. Get up. Let's collect. Get up the hill. Jump. There we go. I'm just gonna let collect two more yellow coins, 
and then we collect the last red coin and that should give us both stars at the same time. There's 100 coins, and there's in the distance the red coin star. So yeah, you collect the 100 coin star, it doesn't throw out the level. You collect the red coin star, it does kick you out the level, so we have to collect the 100 coin star first. So, let's go get that. The box on that platform over there is um, another star, that requires the metal cap, so I can't do that just yet. And there's also another star on this level as well, on top of that house, in the distance, can you see there? Um, I don't actually know how to get that one. All I know is that I don't... Um, I tried using it with the cannon, I tried shooting up to it with the cannon, but it didn't work in when I recorded this before, in the failed recording, because of the wrong artwork. Ah. Um, and, um, yeah, you can't reach that the top of the roof of the cannon, so I don't remember how to get to it. I need to, like, um, basically just come back there, I'll wait until I've got the metal cap so I can do the, uh, the metal cap star. And then hopefully the description will remind me of what to do. Okay, so this level right here is level 4, Chuck Your Harbour. Let's just open it with the power of the stars. The power of your stars has broken the seal on this door. Let's go. Um, yeah, that purple creature there is a Chukya. It's like a giant creature which picks you up and throws you. You don't want to get caught by them when you're on like a narrow platform. Climb to the highest pole is the next star that we're getting. Actually, no, it's not the next star that we're getting. The next star that we're getting is in the Metal Cap course. I'm going to go there first. Um, ow, get my weight number. So, yeah, as I was saying, these purple creatures, I think there's just one round the corner here. Yeah, they'll pick you up and throw you, so let me just demonstrate. You can wriggle out by like, moving the control stick, but you don't want to get caught by them on a narrow platform because they'll just throw you off. Um, they appear in several levels, in the original game and in this game, and it does reach a point where get, they get frustrating because they're just everywhere and they just won't let you like go past the platform like without catching you and throwing you down. So anyway, the metal cap course is in this level. It is up here, you have to, um, well it's not up here, but you have to go up here and press this switch. And I spent a long time looking all over the level to see what that switch activated, and it activates these boxes over here. Um, and then you have to jump and kick the, the window, and uh, yeah, just go inside. And then we uh, slide, and as you can see, we've gained a metal coating, we're now Metal Mario. Um, this this episode would be much longer if um, I didn't know where it was. It would feature a lot of failed attempts at me finding it. But thankfully, I already knew where it was because I've done this before, like just yesterday, and failed it. Um, okay, that, so we're just going to collect the red coins here um, before we activate the metal cap. Let's just get the red coins. I think that's the only star in these um, special stages. There's only one star here, so I don't need to worry about re-entering here. There's the metal cap. I might as well activate it now, as a matter of fact. Like, I was going to wait until I got the red coins, but I don't see the point in just leaving it. There we go. You just stepped on the metal cap switch. It makes Mario invincible. Now metal caps will pop out of all the green blocks you find. Would you like to save? Of course I would. And I've just remembered that there is actually a red coin behind there in the lava, and I learned that um, if you jump in the lava while you're metal, you don't take damage. <laughs> he just bounces up in the air while screaming. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to get, and that's like the easiest way to get this. There we go. We got the red coin. Um, in the original Super Mario 64, there aren't any like levels. There aren't any situations where you have a metal cap and there's lava there. So you never get to find out if lava, um, if um, lava doesn't hurt Metal Mario. Um, as it turns out. Um, you are immune to lava while you're metal, which is a good thing. There aren't any lava levels in the original game with metal caps in them, so... It's a good feature, like, good part of the physics that they included, but never actually put to use in the original. Now there's... Okay, we've got all the, the red coins now. That last one requires a bit of a triple jump, and I had a bit of trouble getting it when I first played this game years ago. But now it's, um... I'm quite good at triple jumping now, so that wasn't much of a problem. Anyway, let's get that the star on top of the giant um, dead dinosaur type thing and we are gonna leave the entire level because we can't just go back into Chucky Harbour for some reason we have to leave the back, back into the hub world pretty irritating but it's okay climb to the highest pole it just means it's, it's not that much of an inconvenience it just means that we have to just jump across here again um, 
yeah, it's not that much of an inconvenience at all, in fact. I don't know why I was, like, um, <clears throat> upset about it. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry, I got a bit of a sore throat today. Jump. There's a triple jump again. So, climb to the highest pole. I believe it's up here. In fact, I know it's up here because I already did it. No! Oh, the fly guy knocked me off. Don't you, don't, don't, don't come near me. There we go. We got up without being knocked off that time. Get on the lift. This is a very easy star to get as well. One of the easiest in the game. There's another chuck here. Don't you catch me. Um, just up here. And there we go. Climb, climb, climb. We're ascending. There's our star. I'm trying to sound as enthusiastic as possible about this. It's just because I've already done this. And I made the mistake of recording it and not changing the artwork first. Um... Because I expect everything that's going to happen. It's just um, not as exciting as I hoped it would be. But um, I'm going to try and make these Let's Plays as exciting as I possibly can. Like, more and more as I make them into the, into the future. Because um, that's one thing I do want to talk about. Um, swim into the flooded cage. That's the next one. So that's in here. Um, one thing I do want to talk about is the quality of my Let's Plays. I am not too pleased with it. And I think it's also part of the reason why my Let's Plays aren't quite taking off in the way that I hoped. They're not like getting the um none of my Let's Play videos have yet actually got even five hundred views, let alone like a thousand or ten thousand. So yeah, people still heavily rely on my animations for my entertainment. For their entertainment I mean. On my channel. Okay, so we have to hang on this and then just shimmy our way across. Um despite that, the recent animations that I've released haven't really taken off either. They they've just got not, neither of them have even have 3,000 views yet, and yet people still like rely on them. You know, they're still like the main focus of my channel apparently to other um, YouTubers, other you know people on the net. I still get plenty of comments on all my old animations. So here's the star, very easy. We just climb over those vines. Yeah, we swim into the bloody cage. We climb on those vines, and there's our star. And the camera just goes behind the wall for some reason. But yeah, I still receive plenty of comments on like the replacements on Fabulous Foxy and Friends. Let's go back in and see what the next star is. The Underwater Maze, okay. Um, what else? Last the, the Last Slice videos, which I really am not proud of. I, don't, I can't watch those again. They're, they're too, like, emotionally stark. I think I kind of went overboard in terms of the story there and the emotions. Um, True Friendship Nether Withers. Um, I'm quite proud of those ones. And yeah, people still comment on those quite a lot. And various other stuff that I've made, like, um, oh, have you not heard, the surfing one. Um, people still comment on this animation, not this is the wrong way, that's the wrong way. So you have to swim through this maze and basically just make, make sure that you don't run out of breath. It's very, very simple. Um, people still do comment on the anima animations quite a lot. Um, but I'm, I'm just wondering if they have any idea that I'm doing this as well. And that's also the wrong way, the star's on the other side of that grate, I need to swim around. It's a very simple maze, and there aren't that many dead ends. There's an amp in there. Ow! I got shocked underwater. That should have just instantly killed him. Mario can survive anything. It's, it's crazy. There are very few things that Mario can't survive. And there's our star in the underwater maze. Um, very, very simple. Um, I didn't even need to, like, do some research to get that star. I already knew that it was there. I still went through the dead ends. Break into the building. Okay. Um, how are we doing for time? Okay, we're almost 15 minutes in. Um... I was going to say, oh yeah, um, for some reason, despite receiving loads of comments on my animation still, um, for some reason, I can't make any new ones without um, them getting, like, very little exposure. Um, I think FNAF animations in general are, like, out of fashion. They're pretty much dead, as I said in, in a previous video. Now, breaking the building, here we go. This one looks fairly damaged. A solid kick might be enough to finish the job. It's just, you can't punch it for some reason. You have to kick it. For some reason, punches don't work. Then again, Mario might hurt his hand if you... No, don't fall off, don't, don't, don't you... F oh, you had to fall off, didn't you? I think it's because Mario might hurt his hand if he punched the window, so kicking is the only thing that works. But yeah, the, the only um, animators who can make an animation and have it get, like, a million views are those who already have, like, a million subscribers, like ZanchQ, um... Uh, what else? J Cinema. I can't think of any others right now, but though animators who have, like, millions of subscribers they're the only ones who can still make successful animations I can't because I I don't even have a hundred thousand let alone a million and I'm 
My subscribe count is steadily climbing up. Let's just get the star for breaking into the building. That's a very insecure building. That's like both windows are broken and there's literally a sign outside telling you to break it. That is not a secure building. It must be some kind of tenement that's like really run down or something because clearly that is not... Okay, the chuck is red coins. Let's just get the red coin star here. That is not an exemplary, an exemplar if you will, of um, building security. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so anyway, I was just saying why, um, even though I'm not doing animations anymore, I, I feel like it doesn't really matter what I do, I can't um, get the momentum going in, in channel viewership. The problem is, I'm not that much of a social media type person, I do have a Twitter and Facebook account, but I mostly use it for like updates and stuff. Um, I tried to use, because Twitter, I feel, and other social networks, I feel compelled to say something witty or something intelligent or something... Um, motivational if you will like something that might help someone you know instead of just shouting something useless into the void um okay forget those coins i'm not gonna get those coins um but uh, i can't do it I could, I could never think of anything to say i just constantly have tweeters block as i call it where i just try to think of something to say and it just doesn't come out here's a sign here that says is this like the town hall this is the same building that i broke into so this is the town hall okay they're going to be missing their star i'm sure Notice, the annual chucking the furthest the chuck can chuck competition will be postponed until next week due to a lack of chuckable objects to chuck. Also, a note to participants, please remember that it is against the rules to distract another chuck here by chuckling while he is chucking his chuckable object. Well, how many chuckable objects can a chuck here chuck if a chuck could chuck chuckable, chuckable objects? Oh man, that's, that's even more of a tongue twister than before. Um, uh, okay, so yeah, I, I've lost my train of thought now. I remember talking about my channel and how I'm not really that good on social media and that might be the reason why it's, I'm not really taking off with my new venture into Let's Plays. Um, yeah, I'm not terribly happy with the response but um, what little I have received I'm very grateful for. Um, the few comments which I have received from these videos, thank you for commenting. Um, I really do appreciate it that people are taking notice. But um, I'm trying to think of ways to like possibly make it go further if you know what I mean. Um, and I do think it's the quality of my um, videos that does play a part into it. Um, the problem is, it's resources and money. I'm not that rip, like well off. I do have um, like a couple of thousand pounds in my bank account, but it's not really enough to like invest in all this equipment just to do this thing. This um, I don't. I'm not really uh, prepared to turn this into a full-on career. At the moment, it's just like a hobby. I can't really uh, make the most out of this. And I don't really want to, yeah, buy loads of stuff and then find it's not worth it because um, people aren't paying attention. But um, yeah, I lost my train of thought again. Um, yeah, but um, another problem is like my room is extremely small. A quarter of it, more than a quarter of it, in fact, possibly a third, is taken up by my bed. Um, and I'm in the corner here, sitting between my bed and the wall with a desk. Oh, there's a shell here. Hey! Da, 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 da. Oh, that was short-lived. I didn't, I didn't see that wall there. Um, oh yeah, there's a red coin and some of that clam I missed. Um, what was I going to say? Open up, clam. Open up. There you go, I'll just grab your coin. Um, yeah, my room is really small and there's barely enough space on this desk for um, a microphone and a filter. And they're like right next to my laptop. So my microphone is picking up all the, the, the fan noise and everything and it's affecting the quality of my voice as well. It's not in a good position. Um, and it can't certainly have been helped by the fact that um, only a few days ago, um, I think a couple of weeks in fact to this day, um, I accidentally spilt a drink on this laptop um, like in the very early morning. Thankfully the laptop was switched off at the time. If it was on then I would not be um, playing this right now. I'll be uh, doing something else. I probably would be uh, like I don't know what I'd be doing, but I certainly wouldn't be doing this because I wouldn't have had a laptop to do it on. But, um, yeah, I spilled a drink on it and the laptop was thankfully off at the time. I quickly unplugged the microphone and um, I took the filter down, unplugged my mouse and everything, and uh, the mains lead and everything. And I wiped off all the water, turned upside down to, to spill as much water as I could out of it. And um, I made the mistake of um, turning on the laptop too soon. I should have waited a bit more for all the water to drip out. But um, I turned it on too soon. There was like a loud whirring noise. And it just shorted. And 
I pressed the button again and it wouldn't turn back on so I thought my laptop was completely dead and that was a really like ow I hate these fly guys so much and uh, that was that was a bit of a, an emotional day I didn't like that thankfully I managed to get it working again but um, my laptop is in the process of dying right now it's four years old I mean it's not that old it's not the oldest laptop you could get but four years is a pretty long time for a laptop and I have placed an order for a new one it's arrived at the the store and I do plan to pick it up next week so that'll be good I won't I probably won't be using it instantly I just want to because um, I need a bit of time to like break it in I'll probably be using it for more simple things like Word documents just to see like, how it operates it's a gaming laptop it's an Acer Nitro 5 which is um, quite a good budget laptop if you want to do gaming um, it, it has been criticized for like not having a good color display the colors are a bit drab and um, also, it's also been criticized for overheating as well so that's not good if you have a small um, desk so you'll definitely be hearing um, fan noise quite a lot if I want to use my new laptop however the quality should improve because it's uh, it's got a much more powerful processor and graphics card um, how are we doing oh we got seven coins where's the last one where's the last red coin it's around here somewhere uh, bear with me I just need to find this red coin but yeah, that, um, thankfully my laptop's working again. I'm going to continue using it just um, for a while and I will transition to the, to the next one at some point. I don't know when that will be, but um, at some point after I obtain it, after I pick it up from the store. There's the last red coin. I can see it on top of that archway. Um, let's just get some more yellow coins first. Don't. Mara seems to like love moonwalking for some reason, every time you punch something. There's more yellow coins. Come back here. No, oh, that fell in the water. Never mind. I didn't want that yellow coin anyway. Oh yeah, there's a black bomb here that we can talk to. Talk to me. Hey there, don't mistake me for those other hotheads. I'm not the sort to blow my top. I'm Bob. Yeah, of course your name is. Pretty much all the bombs are called Bob. And you are? Nice to meet you, Mario. I came here to watch the Chuck Gear Chucking competition, but it's been postponed, so I'll have to simmer around till next week. Since you're exploring this place, I'll give you a hint. I heard that the Chuck Gears have hidden the metal cap switch around here somewhere they probably used they, they probably used to hide a per sorry <laughs> they probably used a purple switch to hide the entrance good luck finding it okay well I've already found it so but thanks for the help anyway there's the last red coin let's just collect it anyway and, and spawn the uh, red coin star we can turn the camera around there we go there's our star over there um, and before I collect it I'll, I'll just get more um, yellow coins and I want to say that um, Another thing is that um, even like longer ago, I think in like January or February or something, um, I don't know how it happened, I forget how it happened, but my microphone like was perched right on the edge of my desk and it fell off and the, s the stand, the microphone stand like snapped clean off as it hit the edge of the desk and that was also quite traumatic because I only just recently bought that microphone. So um... I did manage to duct tape it back together so it still works but um, I think the head also struck the side of the desk as it fell down as well so that couldn't have helped that's probably uh, I don't know it might have weakened the sound quality a bit I'm not sure oh there's there we go that's that's what I'm looking for there's a ring of coins here get, let's get the coins come on come on and there's our star I'm looking at the OBS window, it's saying 25 minutes right now, so I will have to do a bit of editing to reduce it down. You've collected 100 coins, yes, okay, now let's get the other star. One thing I do plan to do very soon as well is uh, finish off my music tracks and upload them to this Get Up. And upload them to YouTube as well, as well as um, like SoundCloud and stuff, because I am a composer as well, music was one of my first um, passions. Let's just grab the star. And I do plan to share some of my tracks with you on this uh, channel, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, I do like the idea of this channel being a hybrid channel of music and games and which will happen soon the chuck is red coins and that will be exciting so here we go um, let's just walk out of the building because it's you know we get some fresh air and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this part of the let's play so um, I hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not subscribed already like the video if you like what you're seeing because I'm liking what I'm playing very much uh, comment on the video, I don't care what you have to say because I reply to everything. Follow me on social media such as Twitter and Facebook and I'll see you in the next part. So, thank you for tuning in to Solid Vision. Goodbye.